Namaste. Welcome everyone to Devananda Samadhi Yoga. I always want to say Purna Samadhi Yoga because that was the original name. Of course, the concept is based on this invocation to Sri Ishopanishad. And the word Purna is mentioned seven times. And guess what? There are seven chakras in the human body. Coincidence? I don't think so. <laughs> when you've been studying Vedas as long as I have, you learn that nothing is coincidence. <laughs> it's all very consciously designed. So, unfortunately, the people over at Purna Yoga considered Purna Samadhi Yoga to be infringing on their copyrights or something. Uh, trademarks, that's it, and uh, threatened legal action. So we had to back off. The last thing I need in my life, even though I'm right, is a legal battle. And even though I might actually win, I don't need the distraction, okay? So it's Devananda's Samadhi Yoga, huh? Devananda's Yoga Shack. <laughs> Come on down. So anyway, this verse means Brahma, the Absolute, is complete. Because he is complete, all emanations from him, such as the phenomenal world and the living beings, are also complete. Beingness produced by the complete is also complete in itself. And because he is complete, Although so many complete beings emanate from him, he remains the undiminished complete balance. So the aim of yoga, yoga means to link, it comes from the Sanskrit root yukt, which you would use to describe hooking up a, a bull to a cart or something like that. So yukt means to connect, to link. And yoga means to link the individual with the complete whole, the source, Brahman. So we'll be discussing all the different methods for bringing about this linking process and applying them to all seven chakras. Now this is what other yoga systems don't do. And if they don't do this, if they don't bring you to ultimate samadhi, or linking with the Supreme, ecstasy. You know? They don't really deserve to use the name yoga. In my opinion, it's a fraudulent use of the word because yoga means connecting. It means linking with the Supreme. That's what it means. And of course, Aum, which almost everybody mispronounces Aum, Aum is actually a very powerful yogic method to bring about this linking process. And so we're going to be going deep into the meaning of Aum, deep into Gayatri Mantra, and actually all the methods that apply to all seven chakras. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel here, and when these videos come out, you'll be the first to know. Huh? So please, don't be misled by false, incomplete teachings, but bring yourself into linking with the complete, the supreme, Aum. Namaste, Aum Harihi Aum.